Yeah, hi guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Uh, it's me taking the induction motor apart. And inside you'll see the rotor, the stator and the bearings.
there is one out there. Right, okay guys, so this is the rotor, this thing, and surprisingly, it rotates. Well, it would rotate, it's not rotating at the moment because the uh, the fan shield at the back, I haven't screwed it in, so I think, well, I put it back on to rest it on, and then screw it back in, so I think the fan is resting on the bottom of that case. Hence the thing won't turn. If I hadn't, if I had put it back together properly, it that would rotate as I showed you earlier. Right, so that is the rotor. These are the bearings. Yeah, this one is a really old motor and it has grease nickels somewhere. Oh, I know where they are. They're on the front there. Right, now this thing. So. Ah, there it is. That little thing there. And the grease goes in. And uh, keeps the bearing lubricated. All the modern ones that I used to, uh, well, I've used re more recently. We, um, we don't have all this grease. They're self-lubricating. Uh, what else we got here? So we've got rotor bearings this thing's called the stator it's basically this is a free phase what's called a free phase um induction motor so there's three sets of coils here so you'll have six wires coming out of it um so this copper wire they're, they're wound together there's three of them and the connections come out in the connection box down here so to replace the bearings. I'm not absolutely sure I want to do this because it's actually covered in muck. I'll uh, go and get the bearing puller though. Hang on. Right, the bearing puller was. I'm trying to put my finger over the microphone. The bearing puller was right next to me. So that's a bearing puller. What you do with it is that goes over there. Line it down. Basically, these. Hang on, I'll try and show you. I'll just bear with me a sec. Space rocket now. Okay, all that fits on there. That winds down. As you can probably see, this bearing puller isn't long enough to pull the bearing. But what would what happens? And just use your imagination here. Is that hooks under there, and they hook under there. And as you and as you tighten that up, what happens? is that's been that screw's been tightened up and it pulls pulls the bearing upwards it gets rid of the takes the bearing off so that's how you replace the bearing there's the bearing puller now to put the back on is a whole other process there's various ways of doing it i do a bench bench press um bearing press but we haven't got one but there are various things that I mentioned uh, on my website, and uh, yeah, I'll do for now. So that's what you see inside an induction motor. Bearing, rotor, stator, connection box. Okay, right, cheers. All right, see you, see you again. Bye.